Try to find one so you can see some blood Okay, so for the lungs, um, again, we'll start out with the, uh, with, with easy, uh, the face. So name the face, that's the alveolus. Alveolus, 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 alveolus. All the faces. Then we have that type 1 and type 2. So if these are all the alveoli, all the faces, well then we have the walls that line them. And so we're going to look at these and, and uh, do single file or what looks like very thin lines that um, make up the walls of the alveolus. Those are our type 1. But then when we have the alveolar walls that come together and merge together in multiple ones, then we're going to start to get some type 2. So here we have an intersection. So we have more of a clumpy looking area. So that's where we're going to put those type 2 uh, cells that make one. Just two things over there. Surfactant. Surfactant. Um, so again, here where these merge together, this will be more type 2 in that area here. Type 2 right there. Uh, type 2 here. So any place they come together, that's going to be type 2. But any time they're just by themselves, that would be type 1. Uh, the capillary, uh, this is kind of a large vessel here. But these are the little blood cells there. You won't always see the blood cells. But what you're looking for is something that has more tissue surrounding it, giving it a little bit more structure. That would be the capillary. Something that would be a little bit more um, structure, not just a single um, single file line. So down there um, on the right side, we have some capillary tissues here. Thicker section. And then for the uh, visceral pleura, where would you find the visceral pleura? So long it's it around it. So if we go to the very edge, there. Uh, 